What's good YouTube, Short King Brandon in the building. So today's video is gonna be one I've been wanting to make for a while. If you're watching this, this means I'm currently in US Army Ranger School. This is a pre-scheduled video, so wish me luck. I'm probably hungry and really sad right now, so go ahead and wish me luck. But yeah, let's get into the video. So men should rewire their thinking because when times get hard, you are always going to default back to whatever you see yourself as. Let me say that again, when times get hard, you're always going to default back to whatever you see yourself as. You see yourself as a loser, okay? Then when times get hard and you can't accomplish a task, you're going to think, damn, I'm a loser. I, I, well, you know, what am I even doing this anyway? Why am I even trying anyway? Because I'm a loser. You gotta rewire your mindset. Because I see a lot of guys on self-improvement. You're working out, you're, you're making progress in your career, like all this is great stuff, but at the end of the day, if you don't update the internal hardware, guys, you're still gonna, inside, you're still gonna be a loser, you're still not gonna see yourself as someone who can accomplish anything that they want, guys. And actually, there's a study, there's a study about this. If you, if you see yourself as someone who doesn't make over 100 grand a year, if you end up making 150 grand a year, but you didn't inter update your internal hardware, someone that could make much more than that, you are going to literally, de subconsciously, you're going to decrease your income to make 100 grand a year. You're going to, income's going to go down back to 100 grand a year because you're not someone who believes that you can make more than that. You think that's your limit. That's all you can accomplish, right? And then the brain doesn't like that dissonance, so it like goes back to what you think you deserve. Guys, that's why such a big part about self-improvement for me has been just journaling and just literally recreating the kind of person I am inside my head. Guys, this is what's gonna get you further, much further than any kind of money your muscles can. If you update your internal hardware, you literally, the muscles and the money and the girls, they're just gonna come with it because naturally, you're just going to, you're, you're naturally gonna just make yourself someone who attracts that money, who goes to the gym, because that's part of your identity, guys. You have to update your whole identity. How do you do this? It takes a lot of work, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you on this channel. Never have. It takes a lot of work. You're gonna have to journal every day and write down, I am, say, for instance, you think that you're bad at math, okay? This is a problem for me. When I was a kid, my mom told me that I, I was bad at math. Consistently told me. When I was a kid, I remember. Remember you're bad at math. Remember you're bad at math. So you have to study extra hard and da 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 da. And I grew up thinking that I'm bad at math. So in high school, I got terrible math grades. I failed like every math class because I just thought, oh, I'm bad at math because that's just what was going on. Like, and that's the story that I told myself since I was a kid, I'm bad at math. So in college, I was taking algebra, eventually pre-calc and uh, statistics. I remember from my statistics class, it was the hardest math class I ever taken in my life in college. And I literally journaled, like every day I was taking that class, I journaled. I'm good at math, I'm good at math, I'm not bad at math, I'm not bad at math. I wrote that like a hundred times, okay? And I actually put it on top, because I sleep on a bunk bed and I slept on the bottom bunk in college. So I put it up top so I could see it every night before I go to bed. I'm not bad at math, I'm good at math, I'm good at math, I'm good at math. And then eventually, literally, I just started to act like someone who was good at math. I studied math and I did all my homework and I studied for the test, I got everything right, and I got an A in the class, guys. This is, this is the power of updating the internal hardware, updating the software that's inside. Guys, I always preach about a book called As a Man Thinketh. This is like the first self-improvement book that I ever read. I was 18, 19 years old when I read it. And this is a book that started to change my life. I've talked about it in many videos. As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. And his he wrote a whole book about this. Updating the way that you think because he thinks that, well, his theory is that the way that you think Di uh, di dictates your actions. Your actions dictate your position in life. So a man who's a grown man, a grown adult, and he's homeless, James Allen thinks that it's his fault. And this is kind of a, this is kind of a, you know, edgy view on this, right? This book is written in the early 1900s. It's not politically correct, so be advised before you read it. But he thinks that, yeah, that homeless guy, it's his fault because he tells himself, I can't do anything, I have no skills, I can't work. Right? What's the difference between him and a guy who's rich? A guy who's rich mentality tells himself, I can do anything, I can make any amount of money, it just depends on how hard I work for it, right? Like, are you on your side? Are you on your own side? Really ask yourself this, bro, because like, I'm about to tell you, like I said, I don't lie on this channel, not many people are on your side. I think the only person that's on your side is like, 
your mom and that's unconditionally <laughs> and everyone else is against you like all your friends they're low-key against you because they want you to fail to make themselves feel better yes you have a lot of good friends that want you to succeed too but unconditionally this means without changing without wavering the only person that's ever going to be completely on your side is your mom so if everyone if the whole world is against you in this whole competition of life in this whole race of life then why would you be against yourself too really think about that you might as well be on your own fucking side you have to be on your own side. if you're not on your own side you've lost like you're not gonna you're not gonna do anything bro because you're just helping the entire world that's already against you you gotta be on your own side you gotta feed yourself positive messages positivity what are your thoughts are your thoughts about god your thoughts about productivity your thoughts about being thankful for life for the fresh air that you breathe for the food that you have for the bed that you sleep on like what are your daily thoughts if your daily thoughts are just negative and filled with just negativity and sad shit, then don't be surprised if you're a negative person and then your actions will also stem from that. Your actions are gonna be the actions of the negative person. You're gonna have thoughts of jealousy and you know, just anger and all this type of stuff, guys. And guys, I know this is hard because the way that you think, the way that your brain thinks, it's a result of years and years, maybe 20, 30 years of consistent uh, negativity, you know, or what we're, it's already dependent on the environment that you grew up in, but you can change that. I changed that. Okay, I grew up extremely troubled, an extremely fucked up childhood, right? I have all this kinds of like trauma from my childhood that I'm not afraid to admit. Most people have childhood trauma, and you just gotta go over that, delve deep into that. It takes to being a man and realize what are the negative things that you tell yourself because that stem from your childhood, right? I, I recommend reading Complex PTSD. It's a book, I'll link it below. A lot of, a lot of people have childhood trauma that they, they're afraid to confront. If you can, trust me guys, trust me. This is huge ROI on your time. All right guys, so that's it for the video. If you liked it, like it, comment below and subscribe for more content. Short King Brandon out.